Hi everyone, thank you for joining me at Mons Paper Crafts. Today's tutor tutorial is this really cute coffee cup. It's a novelty gift card holder. So you can see you put the gift card there in the back. And I thought we'd do this, something a little bit different, very pretty for the ladies. And I'm going to switch the camera around and we'll get started. Just hold on. So it's getting a little bit late at night here. I've had a few interruptions and was hoping to get this earlier, but things happen. I'm just going to pop you down, move you over, and there we go. So for the supplies that we need, I've used um, Blushing Bride. Actually, I'll give you another close-up. If you can see, I'll just put my glasses on. So this coffee cup is a 250ml coffee cup so I've just added the tag onto that and this cute little white bow and then you can see there's a little container and the little belly band where I've just put my card in there but that's where you would slide your gift card and obviously on the back of the card on, on the gift card you can write your little message okay so the f there we go so the first thing you'll need is one of these um, coffee cups, a 250ml one. You can get them at most um, shops, the $2 shops or your um, variety type shops. They usually sell the um, coffee cups and the lids separately, so you can buy those. And what you'll need to do is you need to actually cut one coffee cup up. So what I do is I just cut the rim off and cut the base out and then you're left with with that. This one I actually redid on a white piece of cardstock. And then what I did was I did add a little bit extra. So then when it folds over, it overlaps. So that's the easiest way to do a template for the coffee cup. So we'll get started. So what you'll need is um, some blushing bright, which measures, I will put the measurements down underneath. Uh, that is 11 and a half by three inches. Then you'll need some extra, the DSP I'm actually using today is the All My Love DSP, the Stampin' Up All My Love DSP, which is quite pretty. And that one there is going to go around the coffee cup. Then we'll need two DSPs, six by three inches. Then we've got one here, which is just three, just under three inches on both sides. And we've got the belly band here, which is seven inches by three, uh, three quarter inches. And then for the tag, we've got the, uh, the, the cardstock here, and that is two by three and a half. And then we've got the little overlay there, which is two by just under three inches. And then another circle, which is a two inch circle punch for the top of the lid. So we'll get started. I have actually pre-scored it, but I will score with you. Oh, and then we need a half a straw. And this one here is just for the front. So that's just under three inches by, I'm pretty sure, uh, half an inch. So, but as I said, I will put the I will put the measurements down underneath so they will be accurate. I'm just making sure here that the camera is straight so you can see. So what we want to do is with our base here, make sure we we'll put that out the way. So we're going to first score that at four inches. Sorry, I'm out of alignment here. I'm just going to move my stand over. Make that straight. Okay, so our first scoring is at four inches. Then we move it along to seven inches. Then seven and three quarters. And then ten and three quarters. And that's basically all the scoring that we need to do for that. So now what we want to do is just burnish these score lines. So I might just, sorry, 
about that and move the camera a little bit. This is um, a really cute um, gift idea and what I do is I actually fill the coffee cup with some coffee and some chocolates as well. So what we're going to do here is this here is going to be um, the hole where the coffee cup goes but before I do that I'll get the small square DSP and we'll just quickly glue that on. can use whatever glue you like. You can use the tape runner or the liquid glue. I'm just going to use this for now. And it's going to go that way. So I'm going to do it this way here. Almost fills up the whole, the whole lot there. And before we glue it together, I know this is going to be a bit, um, seem a bit strange how I've, I've assembled it, but because the card stock's not long enough, I've had to kind of ad lib a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the first six by three inch DSP on the inside here before we put the hole in it and glue it up. So we'll just put some run a tape here and make sure that's all lined up give that a bit of a burnish and then we'll flip it around and I think I'm going to use the liquid glue for this because I need it to actually line up properly so I'll turn that around. You'll see that the cardstock only goes to there, but with the double piece of paper here, that will give it they'll give it plenty of extra strength so you don't need to worry too much. Let's get my little Tombow glue. And coming out yeah the gift the gift card idea it's um normally you would just put it in an envelope but people who like their coffee if you want a nice little thank you gift that's really also nice just to put a gloria jeans or a muffin break um, gift card i've done that before as a thank you and it goes down really well people love it and then i'll put the extra um extra coffee in there and some sugar and chocolate so they could have an extra coffee at home. I've done that. Now um, I, for the punches we actually need a two inch um, hole punch, two and a half inch, a circle, an oval. You don't have to do this but that's to um, cut out this little bit here. So I've actually got a scallop oval punch which I'm going to use. It's easy to do all this before you assemble it and you don't have to be too precious about it. I'll just go, i just line it up, eyeball it, make sure it's even on both sides, go down just a little bit and then punch and we keep that, keep that for the belly band. On here we're going to put some score tape, double sided tape. going to cut the, this little bit off here, make that even and on here we're going to use the two and a half inch circle punch and again I, uh, I do I have measured it in the, in the other one but I'm just going to eyeball it today just so we can get this done and I'll try and get it as centre as possible That's not too bad. And we will also keep keep this. So I'm just going to take that tape off. And 
and also use a little bit of wet glue that will help it set and be a lot stronger. And we just put that down onto the score line there. Quite easy. You see what it looks like there on the sides. And you can also fold it that way and the other way just to make sure that it's stuck really well. And what I do with the circle is I'll put some glue on there. Wet glue is a lot easier to do this because you're going to slide that in and put that in down the bottom. So I'm just going to line that up so that the coffee cup will sit on top of it like that. So then we put your coffee cup inside. So we're nearly done with the box. Now I've got the belly band here and I just scored two inches on that side, flipped it around and scored two inches that side. Just makes it a little bit easier when you're gluing it. So I'm just going to put a bit of wet glue on each, oh, okay, where we go, we'll cross over, a little bit of glue there, pop that on like so, fold it over, as neat as you can, you don't want it too tight, you just want it to slip up and down. So that can slide up and down. You want it to hold your card in pretty secure. And then I the and then what I did was the part that we cut out here, I used that to cover the the join lines there. So it's good, nothing's gone to waste. Put that down that way. So I just put a glue just in the middle there so there's no chance of it sticking to the actual box because that would be just a, a bit of a mess you don't want that and then with the other little strip of paper oops so I had that caught onto my stand we're just going to pop that oops on a bit yeah I'm just going to trim that up a little bit because we wanted it just under the three three inch so we've got a little bit of a border there and that should do it. Just put a little bit of wet glue there. And there we go. We already have, how quick was that? Already have the assembly of the box. So next we will go put that aside. We'll go on to the coffee cup wrapper so you now if you've got a pat particular pattern on the side that you want to do there is a particular way that you have to um, trace this so I'm just going to get some paper and if I wanted the paper to go doesn't really matter, I'll go this way here like that if I want this to go on to the front of the coffee cup, I actually have to flip it over and do it that way. Then I just, just get my pen and I just trace it and then hand cut it. Then when you flip it over, it will come out the right way. So I'm just gonna put these aside that's why we need the you need to cut a coffee cup up so you get the exact exact measurement and it fits really nicely and snugly so what we'll do is we'll put some tape on the back on one side might get the narrower one score tapes just good it just holds it in place I do use the combination of the tape and the glue And put some on the other side. And we'll get this off. 
And then what I do is I'll just put some Tombow wet glue all over it. It means that then I can slide it into place a lot easier. Once it dries, it won't come off. So I'll put some on the sticky there. And you want it to go right around the border so that when you squish it on, it goes right to the edge because you don't want it peeling off. Be a bit generous with the glue. And then what I do here is I start where the join is. You can see the join of the coffee cup. And you kind of slide it just a little bit under the rim of the cup there. And as you can see, it's right to the edge there. And then you just work your way around. Okay. That's why you need the combination of both. And work as quickly as you can before the glue dries. Trim that little bit off there. Okay. Probably doesn't need it, but you don't want it hanging over the edge there. So that's that done. Now all I did here was I just felt like the paper is so pretty. I just wanted to add a little bow. These little bows here I buy from AliExpress and you can buy them and you can choose the colors that you want and I think there's no limit you can just buy whatever you like I usually they're so cheap so I usually get about 10 of each color at a time they're just great for quick decorations on your projects so I have the white one here and I'm just going to put a little bit of Tombow on that and you want the um, you want the seam here to go to go in the back so I just look at the seam and then I'll just place the white bow on the front there. And I'm going to sit that there for a little, just for a minute or so. We'll assemble the tag just so the bow dries. So I'm just going to put that aside and bring the tag in. Use my arm. Now the tag here is, what did I say? The tag was two by three and a half. That's that one there. And this one is two by just under three. You can do it longer if you want to. It actually was a mistake when I first did it. And then I thought, I actually quite like it. I have the rosette going on to that. So if you prefer it to be longer, you, by all means, you do the tag that way. I thought it was just something a little bit different. I didn't mind it. I use the tag, the Stampin' Up! tag topper which is awesome because it cuts it all out for you. That's this, this punch here. Handy little gadget, love it. So I've just done that. Then I have um, made rosettes. I find that when I am making rosettes or bows or anything like that, I make a whole heap of them and store them. This is gonna be a bit of a mess, but I do store them in a plastic bag. I'm just gonna show you. So like with these bows, for instance, I've made those. These are the AliExpress bows that I've made, that, sorry, that I purchased. And these are more of the rosettes, which I make them in multiple colours. And I just store them in little freezer bags. And then when I come to do projects like this, I don't have to stop and make one. I've got them to choose from. So in an, another video, we will um, do rosettes. I'll show you how to make them. They're very easy. You can either buy dies, which I do have a lot of dies, or you can make them by hand as well. Either way, dies always are easier. I like dies. But um, yeah, certainly can do it without a die. For the pink ribbon that uh, we tied around the top, I think I used about 15 inches by memory. 
And what have we got here? I've got the tape measure. So it's about 15 inches there. This here is the uh, um, Blushing Bride. Sorry, it's, no, it's not. It's Powder Pink. And it's a mini ruffled ribbon, which is really pretty. And I'll just fold that in half. And just put that through the hole there. Like that. And then we get the little rosette. And I'm just going to put some glue around that. Just pop that on there. And with the two inch circle punch, I just cut out a top for the lid because the lid's got all these little, um, what is it, decaf, cappuccino, latte, and we just want to cover that. So again, just use the Tomgo, Tombow glue, that'll stick to it. And just cover that. Tombow glue is great. Everything's just so quick, easy. Okay, so we're actually nearly done. So the bow's holding on pretty well. So what I've done is I'm going to be filling it up with, I've got a cup of cappuccino mix. Just fold that in half and pop it in there. You can put a little bit of shred in there if you want to. I just find there's not a lot of room, so you've got to squish everything down. You buy these serious CSR sugar sticks. And then I've got these um, two chocolates that will just pop in there. And then with the lid, we just pop the lid on like that. And I'm going to have a visitor in a minute. I've got my kitty cat jumping on the bench. <laughs> and then with a straw, we've just got a paper straw and cut that in half. And you just insert that into there. And this is where we're going to tie the tag on. So with the tag, oh, we've, we've just lost our little rosette. I'm going to have to let that sit for a bit. Not wanting to stick. Okay, so we're going to tie this on first. So I'm obviously going to have to let that sit lying down. Sorry about no, Mr. D, you can't stay here. It's my key cats at night, they always want my attention. Just tie that there. Pull it, make it a bit smaller. And we just trim the ribbon a little bit. I think I've put a little bit too much glue on that. That's probably why it's just sliding off. No too much glue. And we're going to bring in our little box. There we go. That was a really nice, quick, quick little project. And like I said, it's just a really lovely gift. Um, at Christmas time, these are really great to do for Christmas. I love doing these as little gifts. And I'll just put these... Whoop, down there. So thank you for joining me. Like I said, um, next week we'll be back with another another project. And I will, in a couple of weeks' time, we will do some rosettes if you would like to learn how to do them. We'll make a fairy wand, which is a lot of fun. And I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you here next week. Bye-bye um, for now and take care.